Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is episode nine of Karen Beer with myself, Stevie. And me, Sammy. Yes. Episode nine with the two Europeans. We're back after a week break because poor Sam. I was poorly. He was really poorly. Poorly bad. Poorly bad, as they say in England. But anyway, we've got some gear. And we have some beer. And here's the guitar, right here. There it is. Right there. It's the Ed O'Brien from Radiohead new signature Fender Statocaster. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited about this. This has got like some amazing cool features. Yeah, what? this has a lot of jam packed features for such a uh, basic Stratocaster when you think about it for the most part, but it's uh, For the price point, yeah. Yeah. You know, lots of cool stuff. Uh, we'll talk about that soon. Yeah, let's let me just get it. rid of this. Yeah, let's get rid of it. It's gone. Come. So, I'm thirsty. Uh, here's some frosty adult beverages right here. Here it is, Stevie. <laughs> I think Steve is nursing me right now. Yeah, I, I, well, Sam didn't let me know what he was actually bringing along tonight, but. Uh... Well, this is courtesy of my student, Rob Thomas. Oh, Rob Thomas? Yeah, the legend. Not the singer from, uh, what's the name of that band? Uh, well, you know, Carlos Santillo. Yeah. Is it Boxcar Racer? No. Who was it? No, Match, Match. We don't know. We're f***ing useless at this. <laughs> yeah, that band, yeah. But uh, uh, yeah, no, this is a German beer. I used to, a um, bit of history for you. Uh, I used to work in a bar and when I first was started as a barman, they introduced this stuff in and I became obsessed very quickly. Oh, baby. It's well, un unbelievable. Let's crack him open, man. Product of Germany. Das war gut. Das ist gut, ja. Das war gut. Wunderbar. Germans know a lot about beer and sausages, man. I'll give them that. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of sausages. I said nothing, man. <laughs> so, we need some glasses here. Yeah. This is a, a proper. This is almost like the Guinness. You got it. You said it might be a bit lively, so um, yeah. I'm red alert here. Yeah. yeah, watch the carpet. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to get into a fist fight with Sam. Oh my god. See, it's too lively. Look. Whoa, holy. You gotta pour really slowly. Can I have a flake in that, Stevie? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man, it's a, it's a nightmare to pour. Me, right. That's why. I'll show you how to do it properly, hang on. See, look, that's me even pouring it slowly. Who pulled it better? <laughs> I used to be a barman. If 2017 were a beer. If my 2017 was a beer. <laughs> that one. <laughs> look, it's still going. Well, we need to let these settle yeah. while we talk about the specs of the guitar. <laughs> so here's the guitar again, right here. Up oh, there it is. That so, was up in space for a while, wasn't it? No, that was up there. Yeah. <laughs> I gave it a good throw. Sputnik 1. Sputnik 1. So, we've got a, quite a pronounced V on this, correct? Yeah, it's, um, it's what they call actually a soft V, and I believe um, I was told by Brendan, one of our uh, colleagues up at Guitar Works, saying Hi, that. Hi, Brendan. Hi, Brendan. Um, that they actually don't do really much of a soft V anymore, or in a particular spec um, on Mexican guitars anyway. And uh, this one actually has a bit of girth to it and actually feels quite nice. Do you like a bit of girth? When I you're... like a bit of girth yeah. on a... Uh, that's for a lot of sexual references to this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it comes with that. It comes with a JB Junior in the bridge. I like the JB. Texas Special. I like and it. And a Sustainiac pickup. So this is a, basically an Ebo in a pickup. Yep. You've got controls here, turning on the sustain yet, yep. and you've got different harmonic overtones that you can select. I believe this is the lower octave, this is kind of a blend, and this That's is the higher high octave, I believe. We'll find that out sooner or later. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of long notes going on tonight. Um, when you turn it off, you've got just proper five-way selector switch business going yep. on. Uh, I believe these are tall frets. Uh, it could be medium jumbos. Medium jumbos. I'm sure Sam, future Sam, is going to research it and probably put something down here. Yeah. I hope they're proper jumbos. I don't like medium jumbos. No. Sam likes his old jumbo. I like it proper, large. Do you like a bit of jumbo, do you? Give it large or go home, Stevie. <laughs> German sausages. <laughs> jumbo sausages. Uh, what else can we say, Stevie? Well, uh, Olympic white. <laughs> Olympic white, so, yeah. so sort of like the off-white. Yeah, and another cool feature you actually put in here, just as I've shown you, if you turn around the back plate, it has actually the Tree of Life symbol on the uh, 
which is kind of like his own little signature thing that he does. Very nice. Yeah. We've got the vintage style machine heads. I like the vintage style machine heads. You put the string in the hole and you wind it around. As you would. And jobs are good. Yeah. So uh, I think maybe we should start shredding some licks, Sam. What do you think? Yeah. Good right, Stevie. Let's yeah. do it. So starting off on the clean channel, bit of reverb. Yep. Everything pretty much flat on the EQ. Uh, in the middle position on a nice Texas special spanky pickup. True to defender tone. Uh, let's see what we can do. Checking out a few tones. Yep. We're back in the old Yamaha THR 10X for a change. Oh, you gotta love the Yamaha. Uh, we've got the flat EQ yep. on the brown one patch with just a tad of the old hall reverb. Just a smidgen. It sounds a little something like this. <laughs> Special in the middle. <laughs> Mexico. Type uh, we've got a uh, V. On Soft the V. We've also. got the vintage machine heads. We've got, I, I think these medium jumbo, sadly. Future Sam. I don't think they're proper jumbos it. after playing on these. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> uh, and just a great strap, like without 
all of the wizardry. Like, it's just a great sounding strap. Yeah, to me it actually has a lot of nice pickup configurations too yeah. of uh, yeah. the JB Jr. from Seymour Duncan, a Texas Special Fender pickup, and the Sustainiac in the neck, which is a, a good combination of three different pickups. The business end, we have the easy access to the 9 volt. Yep, and we have the Trio Life neck plate, which yep. is a nice switch. I have to mention as well, this is the Ed O'Brien signature model from Radiohead. Yeah, from Radiohead. Yeah. And we've got strap locks by the looks of things. Yep, yeah, strap locks. And this guitar comes with a um, deluxe gig bag. It doesn't come with a hard case or anything like that. But the price point on it is actually is it 14... 14.90? Canadian dollars. Canadian dollars. And you can come see me up yeah. at the Guitar Works Crossiron Mills location where this bad boy is sitting on the wall. Come see Uncle Stevie. He will sell you all the guitars you will ever need. And possibly some pineapples, because I have some spare. Do you? Okay. Oh, good to know. I just came across them. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're on the brown 2 setting, uh, gain at 2 o'clock, still a bit of reverb, sounds delightful, let's see what we can do. So checking out the old Fernandez sustainer system. Yes. So let's see what happens. Uh, on and off. This is off. This is on. Down here you've got the high harmonic. In here you've got a blend. Down here you've got the low harmonic. Yep. So starting off with the high harmonic. Uh, let's see. Also it works unplugged, which is kind of cool. Don't know if you can hear. Go hold the note. And bring the volume in there, Samuel. for the big note. Gary Moore, it's for you. We salute you.
bear. Come, Jeremy. The world's most popular wheat bear, Erdinger, is a traditional Bavarian wheat bear brewed in strict accordance with the Bavarian purity law. Didn't even know that. Erdinger is bottled fermented like champagne, resulting in a unique, refreshing taste. Its glistening golden straw color and majestic frothy head are unmistakable. Erdinger, from Germany, we salute you here. So Stevie, what do you think of the beer there, mate? Super lively. <clears throat> it's unreal. Super lively, very tasty. Yeah. Uh, love it, yeah. Came from, a, came from a very good person. Thanks so much, Rob Thomas. Rob Thomas. Who played with Santana? Yeah, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Pros and cons time with <coughs> Uncle Stevie and Uncle Sam. Here's my first con. It's a bit heavy. <laughs> bit heavy, yeah. Heavy. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna list off some pros and cons. I'm gonna throw it over at them, and then we're gonna do some pros and cons with Sam. Pros for me, gonna bang them out, is the pickup configuration. It's a really sweet setup. Uh, JB Junior, Texas Special, Sustainiac. Again, love the neck, uh, soft V neck. Uh, so for me, being big hands, I feel a lot more close to home with these guys. Um, I love the fact that Sustainiac is actually a lot of fun to play on. I didn't think I'd have a lot of fun of it, but we had. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just yeah. an, an crazy amount of fun with it. And um, yeah, I mean, the cons really, it's uh, not really a lot to say about it, to be honest with you. I mean, again, I'm not really a big fan of the, the tailpiece on fenders anyway. I mean, again, you can put the. You're like a hardtail kind of a guy, aren't you? Yeah, I like hardtails. I'm not really a floating trim guy, but this guy is actually pretty good on the deck right now. Yeah, yeah, you put a few extra springs in the back and you've got a hardtail. Yeah, but I mean, all in, I mean, it's a pretty good guitar altogether, as I mean, yeah. as fenders go. It's pretty well hot rotted, as they would say, but uh, yeah, I mean, nothing else really. Samuel? Yeah, man. I mean, you know, made a Mexico, south of the border, save a bit of money there. That's always good. Mm -hmm. That's a big pro for me. Uh, you know, some of my favourite guitars on the rack there are Mexicans. Uh, straight up, it's just a great strat, older body, maple neck, got the skunk stripe in the back. I'm not sure about these frets. Maybe they are tall. I feel like they probably are taller than a medium jumbo. Yeah. It's set up with 10s now, I believe, which is a little stiff for me. Yeah. Stiffer than I'm used to. That's what uh, she said. <laughs> <laughs> so, the tailpiece, I feel like maybe a two point trim might have been a better choice, especially yeah. paired with the Sustainiac. Yep. You could do more kind of, or, or even Floyd Rose. Yeah. For me. Uh, you're a Floyd Rose guy, isn't yeah. you? Yeah. Know? Yeah. Uh, but I love this pickup, the JB, and I love the Texas Special, and having this is a ton of fun. Yeah. Very easy to access, battery compartment, no problems there. Uh, I like the radius, I believe it's a nine and a half inch radius, it's mm -hmm. not too flat. I don't like it too flat. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man, just a great strap. Yeah, not a lot of cons going on tonight. Yeah, happy days. Happy days. Thanks for watching. Episode nine is a wrap. Up top. Woohoo! Uh, please leave us a comment or an insult. An insult, please. Yeah. And you guys are too nice to us. You are. You really are. And I mean, we have all the links to our social media accounts as well. And yep. I say social media and the fact that I need to keep on top of it. Yeah, Steve is in charge of the old social media. He's done the Instagram and the Facebook yep. and all of that business. Top below. Uh, please share this video with Father Ted. 
And Father Dougal McGuire. And Pat Mustard. And Father Jack Hackett. And Father Len Brennan. It's Bishop Len Brennan, yeah. <laughs> you stupid prick. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to share with Mrs. Doyle. And Dick Byrne. Dick Byrne and his uh, associate Cecil. Yep, and <laughs> oh, you're beating me, Stevie. I know, I'm, I'm <laughs> Irish, I have to know this stuff. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you see next you week. week. Have a good one.